symbol for infinity. Well, eat up. Your breakfast won't stay warm forever. It's true. Nothing lasts forever. All right. You ready for this? Blow it out of the water. Okay, let's do it. Let's blow it out of the water. Today, we have an entire episode devoted to the phrase, blowing it out of the water. Which has come to mean a kind of overwhelming victory against the enemy, right? Exactly right. And in that sense of the phrase, later we've got the finale of Breaking Bad. Could Walter White's machine gun booby trap really have taken out all of his enemies? But first, we're actually going to test the literal meaning of the myth, which comes from submariners from World War II. Apparently, occasionally, when they sent a torpedo toward a ship, they would watch that ship blow completely out of the water instead of blowing up. How epic are we going to take this? I figure we got to get pretty epic with it. Cool. Blowing a boat out of the water instead of into pieces might only happen if the relative positions of ship and shockwave are spot on. And to find out just that, the Mythbusters are starting in miniature. You know, when we say we're going to blow a boat out of the water, we mean specifically blow a boat out of the water, not blow up a boat. That's not what we want. So, we're going to start with this beautiful tank. It is large enough for us to detonate our miniature explosives. Oh, And our boat, which still needs a little bit of work. Their 15 grams of black powder is perfectly scaled for a setup this size. But to find out if it can lift the boat rather than obliterate it, placement is key. Now, we figured there's a certain depth at which the explosive reaches this optimal relationship between the water and the boat to send the boat flying itself out of the water. And that depth is what we want to find. Ow. And first up will be, I guess, our control. Perfect. Which will be the explosives at the boat on the surface of the water. All right, Heineman, you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Whoa! Go. Whoa! <laughs> There's no more boat. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuinely thrilling. That was spectacular and kind of shockingly beautiful. Look at how this glowing ball forms this two-foot diameter hole in the water. It's almost perfectly spherical before it starts to collapse on itself. And the boat, well, the boat, she is no more. So now we're trying to find the depth at which to lift the boat rather than turn it into a bunch of little chunks. And frankly, given the size of that sphere of explosion, I'm thinking about going halfway down.